Hello, young math enthusiasts. Are you ready for some fun with division? Dive right into our math quiz for kids channel for exciting division challenges. And if you're ready to test your skills, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. What is 21 divided by three? Picture this. You have 21 objects to divide into groups of three. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 21 objects. Can you picture them lined up? What is 30 divided by three? Picture this. You have 30 objects to divide into groups of three. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 30 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups. What is 20 divided by two? Picture this. objects to divide into groups of two. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 20 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of two. What is six divided by three? Picture this. You have six objects to divide into groups of three. How many groups can you form? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Imagine you have six objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now consider splitting them equally into smaller groups. What is six divided by two? Imagine this scenario. You have six objects to divide into groups of two. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Picture yourself with six objects. Can you imagine them lined up? Twenty-four divided by four is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 24 by 4. Each group contains 4 units, so dividing 24 by 4 results in 6 equal groups. Thus, the result is 24 divided by 4 equals to 6. Thirty-five divided by 5 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 35 by 5. Each group contains 5 units, so dividing 35 by 5 results in 7 equal groups. Thus, the result is 35 divided by 5 equals to 7. 16 divided by 4 is time to think.
Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 16 by 4. Each group contains 4 units, so dividing 16 by 4 results in 4 equal groups. Thus, the result is 16 divided by 4 16 divided by 2 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 16 by 2. Each group contains 2 units, so dividing 16 by 2 results in 8 equal groups. Thus, the result is 16 divided by 2 equals to 8. Twelve divided by four is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 12 by four. Each group contains four units, so dividing 12 by four results in three equal groups. Thus, the result is 12 divided by 4 equals to 3. 24 divided by 8 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 24 by 8. Each group contains 8 units, so dividing 24 by 8 results in 3 equal groups. Thus, the result is 24 divided by 8 equals to 3. What is 10 divided by 5? Picture this. You have 10 objects to divide into groups of 5. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 10 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of 5. What is 4 divided by 2? Picture this. You have four objects that you need to divide into groups of two. How many groups can you form? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Imagine you have four objects. Can you picture dividing them into smaller groups consisting of two objects? What is 72 divided by nine? Picture this. You have 72 objects to divide into groups of 9. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Imagine you have 72 objects. Now, think about splitting them equally into smaller groups of 9. What is 72 divided by 8? Imagine this. You have 72 objects to divide into groups of 8. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 72 objects. Can you picture them lined up? Thirty-five divided by seven is time to think.
Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 35 by 7. Each group contains 7 units, so dividing 35 by 7 results in 5 equal groups. Thus, the result is 35 divided by 7 equals to 5. Forty-two divided by seven is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number forty-two by seven. Each group contains seven units, so dividing forty-two by seven results in six equal groups. Thus, the result is 42 divided by 7 equals to 6. 49 divided by 7 is time to think. Let's go to the solution. Divide the number 49 by 7. Each group contains 7 units, so dividing 49 by 7 results in 7 equal groups. Thus, the result is 49 divided by 7 equals to 7. 7. What is 60 divided by 6? Picture this. You have 60 objects that you need to divide into groups of 6. How many groups would you have? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Imagine you have 60 objects. Can you see them all lined up? What is 70 divided by 7? Picture this. You have 70 objects to divide into groups of 7. How many groups can you make? Let's think about it. Ready to find out? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you have 70 objects. Can you picture them lined up? How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome! Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more division quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.